This is a First Alert Weather Special Report. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Lonnie Quinn here in the CBS2 Weather Center. We're staying on with you late tonight to talk you through what's happening outside right now. All of the little icons here on the map uh, show you the damage that the storm has produced, and we're not done. We still have probably rain-wise got about another three hours until the rain is finished with our area for the east end but you know any of these little wind alerts that you see here the blue little icons those are winds that are gusting at 50 to over 60 miles per hour i saw my Marinek with the biggest gust today at 64 miles per hour uh, all of those are flooding situations either roads are flooded out uh impassable uh if you see the roofs with uh like something like this right here um there's tree damage out there lots of trees down power outages again with all the this rain the ground is saturated the winds on top of it make it that tough that much tougher that's the worst of it as of right now this line basically right on top of Islip we'll zoom in tight there from Islip over towards Rocky Point and across the sound over towards New Haven Connecticut uh, this is the toughest line but take a look I mean there's there's more behind it so it's about 3 30 in the morning or so when the final raindrops push off the east end and that's the final raindrops of the organized rain there's still going to be some spotty showers, even some spotty stronger downpours that will pass through for, you know, your morning hours into portions of your day on Wednesday. In terms of the rivers, this we cannot put to bed yet. All right. Look what it says until further notice. The rivers in New Jersey, the Housatonic, you're part of this as well. Uh, we've got flood warnings out there for excessive rainfall throughout basically a good chunk of the entire state of New Jersey and the rivers are going to take a while and why is that because this river the rivers let's just take for example the Passaic River well there are over half a dozen tributaries that feed into it they're swollen that water is making their track down towards the Passaic the main river it just takes a while I don't think the Passaic is going to get to you know major flood stage probably until Thursday. That means all day tomorrow, it just continues to rise. The smaller rivers are going to rise much quicker than that, but we have quite a ways to wait on that. Right now, outside, we've already picked up anywhere from, you know, two to three inches, 3.3 .3 in portions of Fairfield, Connecticut. Coastal flood warnings remain in effect until the morning high tide cycle, which will be somewhere between 6 and 9 a.m., depending on where you live. So even though the storm is gone, well, you still have the astronomical high tide because you got a full moon and you've got uh, just some flooding conditions out there. And lo and behold, Saturday into Sunday, there's another chance for precipitation out there. So we got to keep our eye on our rivers, guys. But that is the very latest. It's been a tough day. Not done yet. Again, I think about three hours from now, we'll put the bulk of this offshore from Montauk. Until then, we've just got to grin and bear this. Stay safe, everybody. This has been a First Alert Weather Special Report.